Hello and welcome to the Maritime CEO Conference. I am truly overwhelmed with the response we have received. What started as a small dream to have Maritime CEO drive change in the industry and the first conference for 100 participants in India before the pandemic struck has now gone truly global with over 1000 participants from every continent and 60 speakers from over 25 countries. We are privileged to be part of this glorious industry that contributes to the world economy and trade. This has never been more apparent than now during the pandemic. Despite the world being in lockdown, shipping continues to move the world. The IMO theme for this year's World Maritime Day was sustainable shipping for a sustainable planet. COVID-19 has made this year's theme even more relevant. The professionalism and sacrifice of the 2 million merchant fleet seafarers who continue to transport more than 80% of the goods during lockdown needs to be commended. Unfortunately, their role is underplayed by mainstream media. For me, they are the true superheroes. We must not forget that even today, they face many issues with crew change, being stuck on board and with mental fatigue and their families who are equally worried on shore our gratitude to the seafarers. While 2019 was dedicated by the IMO to empowering women in maritime, I believe the theme for this year, sustainable shipping cannot be achieved without diversity. Now, more than ever, is the need to highlight the business case for more female expertise in the industry. The pandemic has hit women hard. Today, we're missing out on 50% of the talent, 50% of the new ideas, 50% of the potential progress this industry could be making and probably a lot of profit too. Improved gender balance contributes to more diverse workplaces with positive effects both internally and externally. Moreover, it positively influences the attractiveness of jobs and the competitiveness of the maritime sector. Gentlemen who are joining us today, please continue to be ambassadors of change and to the maritime CEOs I want to say, Let's empower and lift each other up. Together, we can create opportunities for a more diverse, inclusive, and stronger maritime community. Welcome once again. Namaskar. It is my proud privilege and honor to share my views. Prestigious Maritime CEO Conference. As a keynote speaker, Maritime Industries offers great em employment opportunities for male and female seafarers alike. However, employment equality has been a long lasting problem in these industries across the globe. It is one of the very few industries which has the lowest number of women workforce. Women seafarers are less than 2% of seafarers worldwide and as per latest EU data. The gender pay gap also stands at around 16% maritime CEO conference is undoubtedly a welcome step to promote gender equality in maritime industries. It will embolden the women fraternity across the globe to pursue and achieve their dreams in this field. I express my following suggestion for further deliberation and contemplation at this dignified forum. All leading educational institutes should incorporate policies to help women understand and know about maritime careers in a better way to enhance awareness about career opportunities in this field. All reputed magazines and newsletters should be used as a medium to promote and highlight 
seafaring as a potential career for females parents should motivate and encourage the daughter who are willing to take up job in shipping related sector all organizations should take initiatives to allow for an equal representation of women and offer them equal opportunity in the maritime industries to push more women in this industries society must have the common recognition of the importance of the utilization of the women workforce gender sensitization programs should be conducted regularly private shipping companies should offer enhanced job security by providing them a stable sources of the income and a planned retired life the key discriminatory issues of women seafarers like health pay disparity and compared to their male counterparts bullying harassment and unacceptable behavior of colleagues or managers and pregnancy test before going on board need to be pondered upon with an open mind at this forum to involve radical measures supp- supporting women's welfare nevertheless there are no doubt in my mind that women seafarers are as capable as their male counterparts are and for sustainable development participation of women in shipping both at sea and on shore is equally important i am proud to apprise the majestic gathering that the indian government is aggressively encouraging women seafarers to take and their career in this challenging field indian women seafarers number is increasing exponentially across the globe i am delighted to highlight names of miss sanjam sahib gupta director sitaram shipping limited mrs s k joshi chairperson and md shipping corporation of india captain radhika menon master of the oil tanker and miss reshma nilofar naha the first women river pilot in the world who have been passionately pursuing and promoting gender equality and boosting a diversity within the maritime sector these are among many other indian women who are making waves in the maritime industries globally i convey my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the organizers of this conference for consider- considering me as a keynote speaker thank you thank you again namaste Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the organizers in Maritime CEO and the Ocean Opportunity Lab for convening us. Digital meetings have become part of our daily routine, so I'm happy to note that the Norwegian company Myonment has developed the digital platform used today. The platform's innovative features contribute to a longer lifespan for this conference, and that's especially welcome given the importance of the topic on our agenda: diversity in shipping. The COVID-19 pandemic reminds us that of the importance of keeping global supply chains open. More than 80% of world trade is carried by sea. I think it's safe to say that the seafarers play a crucial role in the world economy. The shipping industry is facing the dual challenges or should I say opportunities of digitalization and of moving in a greener direction. In order to succeed the maritime sector needs to attract the best talents from a diverse candidate pool it is not enough to recruit only from half of the population 
Studies show that companies with gender diversity are more profitable and have a competitive advantage. In Norway's case, the ability to include women in the workforce has been key for our economic growth. Norway is considered to be one of the most gender equal countries in the world. But still, only 10% of the top leaders in Norway's 200 biggest companies are women. Looking at the maritime sector, 16% of the employees in Norwegian shipping companies are women. Only 7% of the employees at sea are women. So how can change be encouraged? Well, Norwegian companies that have succeeded in promoting diversity highlight some lessons. First, the leadership has to take responsibility. And second, make good plans and measure progress. Analyze the number of women and men at all levels and set concrete goals for gender balance. Keep track of the development. Third, work systematically with recruitment. Make sure that both women and men are shortlisted for vacant positions. And fourth, focus on building a culture where all employees are met with respect and acceptance and where they feel included. Dear friends, India and Norway are both proud maritime nations. Thousands of Indian seafarers work on Norwegian ships, many in leading positions. I am confident that our two countries can work together to mend the gender imbalance in the maritime industry. This conference is an important step in bringing these issues to the forefront of both governments and the business communities. Let me thank the organizers again for highlighting the challenges of gender equality in the maritime sector and for providing such a great platform to share experiences and discuss how to speed up progress. Thank you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to address this conference. First, I'd like to congratulate Mrs. Sanjem Gupta for organizing this important event. Mrs. Gupta is a well-known maritime leader. She's a great champion of IMO's capacity building efforts through her role as a member of the executive board of the World Maritime University, WMU, and through her support for IMO's Women in Maritime program. Also noteworthy is her work with WISTA. I'm especially pleased to be joined by Her Excellency, Mr. Ine Eriksen Soreide, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Norway, and His Excellency, Mr. Mansuk Mandavia, Union Minister of State for Shipping of India, at the opening of the conference, further showcasing its significance. Diversity at executive and director level matters. Empowering women fuels thriving economies across the world, spur growth and development, and benefits everyone working in the global maritime community and beyond. This is particularly important as we all face the challenges to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. We must use this opportunity to rebuild from this crisis inclusively, equitably, and sustainably, and put women's leadership and contribution at the heart of resilience and recovery. The maritime industry will be the foundation for the recovery. Shipping has continued to deliver vital goods during the pandemic. We have seen the professionalism and sacrifice of the world 2 million seafarers who continue to transport more than 80% of world trade. But we need to do more to resolve crew change and ensure crews are repatriated at the end of their contract. How can you promote seafaring as a career? when hundreds of thousands of seafarers remain stranded at the sea, unable to see their families. We are doing our utmost at IMO in this regard, and will continue to count on support and collaboration of our members, the industry, and many partners to resolve this crisis. Through the pandemic and beyond, we need to redouble our efforts to ensure shipping is sustainable. People are at the heart of this industry at every level. We must ensure we manage the sector in such a way that we utilize all talent across the gender divide. 
the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 5 on gender equality has to be at the center of all our activities, ensuring equal representation and decision-making power. In 2019, the World Maritime Theme, Empower Women in the Maritime Community was used as a springboard to highlight IMO's work in this area. Millions worldwide rallied to the call to get on board with the gender equality on social media and thousands joining in-person events. IMO and many other stakeholders partnered raised awareness of the important contribution that many times women already make around the world every day and to actively promote gender equality. Showcasing a commitment to future action at the end of the year, IMO Assembly adopted a resolution on preserving the legacy of the World Maritime Theme for 2019 and achieving a barrier-free working environment for women in the maritime sector. This journey for inclusivity and diversity is not complete. The maritime industry must do more to take advantage of all the talent and capacity embodied within the entirety of our diverse population to meet the increasing needs of our global community. Many initiatives are ongoing. IMO's Women in Maritime program is now in its 32nd year and continue to provide women from developing countries with access to high-level technical training as well as ongoing strategic support provided to seven IMO Women in Maritime Network to improve gender balance in the industry. These capacity-building initiatives continue through virtual training. We have been pleased to welcome Vista International as an NGO in consultative status into IMO family. We are now pursuing specific initiatives with Vista, including a survey on the number of women in maritime sector. The survey will launch soon. I will be inviting member states and industry to take part. We need solid data on female participation so that we can track and quantify our ambition in what has been in male-dominated sector. At this conference, you will be hearing from many role models who represent the sea of change that is happening in maritime, as well as from supporters of all genders. To ensure gender equality, we need to make sure that the next generation knows about opportunities in the maritime industry. IMO will play a pivotal role in showcasing role models and supporting schemes which train and mentor the next generation. With IMO's help, a new pool of strong and talented women is proving that the maritime industry is for everyone. It is not about your agenda. It is about what you can do. I am honored to be invited to address this important conference and pledge my ongoing support to promoting female leaders and to the advancement of gender equality throughout maritime sector. Let us continue to be change makers and to create an inclusive and enabling maritime community for everyone. Thank you.